Okay, this tutorial is going to be hopefully informative to try to clear up some confusion with all different types of connectors and types of cable that there are out there in the Wi Fi world. Um, for the first part, we're going to talk about connectors. We have the popular N type connector, which is usually the fatter one and used on outdoor antennas, uh, mostly because it is a tougher uh, connector, it can deal with more. Uh, the next one will be an SMA which is most commonly found on USB adapters uh, like the Alpha and things like that. The next one is going to be the TNC which is most commonly found on routers uh, when you want to transmit a signal. Uh, usually the Linksys D-Link, uh, they have these. So from there you got to find out what connector is right for your setup and then depending on your budget and your length, uh, you would then pick your thickness of cable. Thickness is important with uh, Wi-Fi because it is RF, it is radio frequency, and the more length you have of, uh, of cable, the more signal you're going to lose. So a thicker cable is always the best option. Sometimes financially that's not the best. Uh, so we have LMR 195, which is a thinner cable. The next step up that we saw would be LMR240, thicker, and the thickest that we saw is LMR400, which is always the best case. Um, rules of thumb, 20 feet or, or longer, LMR400. If you're in a 10 foot range, you can get away with using an LMR195, but it is signal lossy, so it, it kind of depends on uh, how far you need to go. 10 feet, I mean 20 feet you can get away with it, but we really don't recommend it. Uh, LMR 240 for the 10 to 20 foot, but like I said, 20 and above, you want to go with LMR 400. And 10 feet or below, LMR 195 is fine. Uh, so just to give you a couple examples of how we make our pre-made assemblies. Uh, this right here is LMR 195 10 foot cable. It is an extension cable for the Alpha and our indoor antennas. This would also connect to an omnidirectional if you wanted to. Just like that, you can put it somewhere. But most commonly people use it for our indoor antennas. So now you have three feet plus 10 feet, you have 13 feet of coax cable and four feet of USB. From here to here, you're losing signal, but from here to, to the computer uh, on the USB cable, you're not going to lose anything at all. It's data. The next common scenario that you'll find would be our end connector. Our end connector is always going to be used on the outdoor antenna. And then the other, the other end is just fitted depending on, like we said before, whether you want to receive with a USB adapter, you have a little SMA, or the mid range. TNC to transmit from a router. So depending on your budget and depending on uh, what the cable length is, you want to play around with those things. But like I said, always go with the thickest cable uh, that your budget allows. And if you're doing 20, 40, 60, 80 feet of, uh, of coax cable, all the assemblies that we sell, you want to go with LMR 400, a thicker cable. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, Feel free to email us at support at simplewifi.com or call us on our tech line Monday through Friday. Thank you.